What's up? My name is Jun. I'm a backpacker currently traveling through South America. It's been 19 months more or less. I started in Cuba and went to Mexico and coming all the way. Now I'm in Punta Arenas and I'm about to reach Ushuaia, which is called the end of the world. Over the 19 months, it's been incredible and an interesting experience. One of the most interesting experience is that meeting new people. I think in Latin culture, it's not very common to see Asian people, especially Asian travelers. So I received lots of questions. And some of the question is quite funny. I learned that there are a lot of stereotypes of Asian country. So I'd like to introduce some of the questions, some of the common questions that I find it pretty funny. And uh, oh, yes, um, talking about country, as you can see my face and this thin eyes. So yes, I'm from Finland. And no, I'm kidding. I, I'm from Japan. I don't know if you guys heard of that country. It's small islands where, where there are a lot of Asian people. So, let's go. First one, it's a very common question that I receive. Is it common to practice martial arts in your country? Mm, no. Well, at least not as common as you guys think. Yes, there are many karate place or judo place, but does every single person practice? No, 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 no. I mean, Look at my body, it's, there's no muscle whatsoever. <laughs> I think it's a big influence from Hong Kong movies and American Hollywood movies. It's very far from here, so sometimes the only information they have is the action movies. People think almost everybody practice martial arts. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but uh, no, we're not uh, karate masters. Second one, do you guys eat dogs? In the history though, not only Japan, but a lot of countries used to eat dogs. I just Google it. Uh, but nowadays, no. However, if I go to the Korean restaurant or Chinese restaurant, people may able to find a place to eat dogs. Some part of China or Korea, Vietnam or other country, people still eat dogs. People eat dogs. It sounds like... Um, you know, just you can just find a dog on the street and catch them and uh, yeah, we got a dog, so let's eat it for dinner. I don't think it works like that, no. When some people hear that uh, you can eat dogs, people react like, ah. I know like the, there are more like pets or family, but you know, it's just a different culture. Third one, this is more like uh, the question from guys. Do you know hentai? Um. Yeah, it's uh, one of the weird culture. Japan is kind of famous for this anime culture and it's a big industry so it makes sense that some people develop the culture to the porn industry. A lot of people don't know about uh, this hentai porn genre. It's the name. The word hentai is the Japanese word and it means pervert. If I say hentai in other part of the world, it only means that it's a genre of the porn. So it's kind of embarrassing to say that word. But in Japan, it's like between dudes, between friends, we use it like daily in funny way, you know? Like if there is an attractive person walking down the street and um, you may look at their ass and say, wow, it's so sexy. And other people might say, oh, you are such a hentai. And another person say, yeah, yeah, I am. And so are you. Something like that. So it's kind of funny that people use that word for only porn. But in Japan, it's just a word between friends. So those are the three that came across to my mind. And I think that's only for either Asian people or Japanese people. Every time I receive those questions, it's, it's to me, it's kind of funny. And uh, it's interesting because I never thought about uh, receiving the question like eating dogs or hentai genre. Martial arts maybe because Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. Oh by the way, um, even if you see Asian people that don't do like, oh Jackie Chan, it probably makes people think that you're stupid. So just don't do it. 
so that's it for today um thank you for watching i'm gonna post something else for the next time so until then see ya